Once your project is set up and has some files, you can try to build your project. To build with default settings, click the Build button. If you have more than one project in your solution, you can click Build Solution to build all the projects within your solution. The output window at the bottom of the screen shows you the build results. It also shows you where your output files are stored. If we introduce an error into our code and press Build, the output window lists the error. Double-click the error message to locate it in your code and correct it. To configure the build settings, right-click on your project in the Solution Explorer, then select Properties. Here, you'll find the properties for your different build configurations, also called targets. For example, it's common to have a debug configuration with no optimization, and a release target with high optimization. You can also use these to differentiate the features to include into your build. Admel Studio automatically generates a makefile for you, which is very convenient. But you also have the option of linking in an external makefile. In addition to the default .elf output file, you can have other types of output file, such as hex, map, and eeprom files. Click the Toolchain tab to find settings related to the compiler and linker. For example, compiler optimization and linker settings. Note that all settings here are also tied to the selected build configuration or target. By selecting Build and then Configuration Manager from the menu, you have the option of adding your own build configurations. These will then appear amongst the other build configurations. More complete information on these options can be found under Help Atmel Studio Projects. Scroll down to GCC Project Options and Configurations.